So we're driving along in the Tesla here, getting onto a stretch of highway, and I'm gonna show you how this autopilot feature works. So this is equipped with enhanced um, autopilot, and so let me get into an area here. You just pull down two times on this gear shift, and you'll see that it'll engage the autopilot. So we have our maximum speed currently set at 60. If I wanna increase it, I just roll this up, and you'll see it'll go up. If I wanna increase, decrease the following distance we go left or right and you can see that there so uh, and then you can of course you can navigate to what you need to I have it going to my home I believe and so uh, I'm just sitting here I'm not doing anything and uh, it's increasing the speed if I want to move over I'll simply put on my signal and it'll find a spot to do that and it's doing it himself I didn't touch the steering wheel it went ahead and changed lanes for me with all the cameras that are on this and as you can see, it kind of identifies somewhat the other types of cars that are alongside you. I had a motorcycle pass me the other day and in fact showed a motorcycle. Pretty cool. And uh, so anyway, uh, it's a real quick uh, demonstration of how it, uh, it does work. So with this uh, little scroller here, again, you can change your um, following distance and the maximum and you can decrease the speed if you want. I've decreased it, but I'm going to go back up to a little bit faster because this is the road people drive fast on. And so anyway, it's, it'll show you the show you and give you guidance. Again, if I want to move back over, I just simply hit the blinker. I don't do anything but hit the blinker, and it'll find its own spot to move over. Move it over on its own. So let's see if it picks up this stranded car on the side. It's got something there. So if I want to move back over again on enhanced autopilot you can see it go to a dotted line it moves over on its own i'm not doing anything but put the blinker on it's pretty remarkable pretty cool thing here we have a curve coming up where i wouldn't normally trust my volvo as much uh, when it has an autopilot pilot assist on but this is uh this is doing remarkably well and um, i'm not really i'm just kind of just getting used to this car so i don't quite trust it yet but with as many cameras are on this thing i don't think you can go wrong i haven't had any issue yet but so anyway, um, there's a quick rundown on the, so now it's telling me apply light steering pressure, a little per steering pressure, let it go back again to what it needs to. Uh, but that's a quick rundown on the enhanced autopilot. You'll see this little icon is on right there, showing us we're in autopilot. Here I am, not steering, doing anything. I know that's scary for some of those that, that aren't familiar with uh, semi-autonomous driving vehicles, but here we go, it's a big curve here. We're doing 67 miles an hour on a pretty big curve. And I'm just letting it do its thing. I'm trusting Tesla's engineers on this one here. Yeah, so uh, there you go. It's very, very responsive. Kept me well within the lane of travel. So it's telling me to apply force. You see that light blue flickering? So I got to apply the force, and it'll, otherwise it'll cancel on me. A uh, very similar thing you'd see in my uh, other video on my Volvo uh, that'll kind of click off on you. The Volvo makes you uh, touch the steering wheel much, much more quickly than they do in the Tesla. The Tesla probably every couple of minutes, I would think maybe a minute and a half or so from what I can tell. The Volvo is like every 10 seconds. So this is a much better um, autopilot driving experience thus far. So if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. And as always, please subscribe. Thanks.